Welcome to the Etsy Entrepreneur Podcast, where sellers can get help starting, building, and growing their Etsy business so that they can make extra money pursuing their passion. Are you ready to get the tips and strategies you need to be successful? Then let's get started. Here is your host, a top 1% full-time Etsy seller, LL. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Etsy Entrepreneur Podcast. Got another good one for you guys. Hopefully, everyone's having an awesome day. Um, Hopefully, your uh, 2020 is going great for you guys in your business and in your personal life. Um, It's uh, really important that uh, everything's clicking. So, hopefully, that's going good for you guys. Um, And I got another good podcast for you today. I do get uh, a lot of questions about this. So, I want to go through a couple of uh, tips and tricks and tactics, really. Um, to help you guys out the best I can uh, from my experiences. So um, I want you to get a lot out of this podcast. So what I want to talk about today is customer service. Uh, maybe it's not a flashy topic. Uh, you know, it's not uh, you know sales. It's not traffic. Um, you know, it's not keywords or stuff like that. Um, but it is probably the most important thing uh, that a lot of times we overlook um, in business and in e-commerce rather because we forget that without our customers, there is no business. So we have to make sure that we are delivering the utmost best customer service out there. Uh, and as you guys can imagine, you can remember a time pretty easily probably where you were not given good customer service. Um, we can all, we've all been there. We've all got our orders uh, messed up. We've got our the wrong food delivered. Um, you know, we've had people uh, checking us out that were terrible people that were just miserable uh, people that just wanted to ruin your day. Um, so we've all been there. We all know when uh, when people are delivering us uh, terrible customer service. Um, but you can also probably remember a time where you were given really good customer service. Maybe you made a phone call to a company or you sent an email to a company and they really went above and beyond uh, for you uh, to help you out. So that kind of, you can think about how that made you feel and that you probably wanted to return to that business and patron that business again and uh, continue buying their products or buy more products, um, et cetera, just from that uh, customer service. So it's really not a hard thing to deliver customer service, but it... Um, it's something that we overlook and uh, maybe we just kind of uh, skate by and, and do it kind of haphazardly. So I want to give you some tricks to help you out. Not really tricks. These are just tips to help you guys out to make sure you're giving that uh, good customer service. So the first thing that I want to talk about is your customer reviews. Um, these are paramount when it comes to Etsy and really any business. Most of you guys probably look at reviews all the time for a new restaurant when you're traveling for a hotel. Um, Etsy is no different. You know, customers are allowed to leave reviews for you. Um, Not every customer will leave reviews. I've seen people freak out because they, um, customers aren't leaving reviews. Uh, I think it's about 1% or maybe even a little bit less that actually leave reviews for you. So that's why it's even more important with that small populace of people um, to make sure that you are delivering good customer service to snag those good reviews when they do decide to leave them. I believe that Etsy does remind them to leave a review. I think they have an automated email or something like that. You guys can also put a message on your packing slip uh, reminding them to leave a review or reach out to you first if an, if there's any problems with their order. Um, you can customize your packing slip to include that. You know, we appreciate reviews. Please leave a positive review. If you have any problems with your order, please make sure you contact us first uh, before leaving a review. So that gives you the opportunity to correct the uh, issue before they leave the review. So I would uh, make sure you guys go in and update your packing slip. Um, that's a freebie. I didn't even uh, plan on talking about that, but I just remembered it as I was uh, babbling here. So make sure you guys do that. That will help you out for sure. Um, Along the same lines with reviews, as you know, it's important to get good reviews. Uh, When you're starting a new Etsy shop, it's super important to get reviews. It affects your your SEO. uh, It affects how Etsy sends people to your shop. They're not going to send people to shops with bad reviews. Uh, Also, you can get kicked off Etsy if you have too many uh, bad reviews in in a window of time. So it's super important to get good reviews all the time, um, but especially when you're starting out and you don't have that many reviews at all. Maybe you have three reviews and one of them's bad. 
uh, you know, that's not good. <laughs> that's like 30 over 30% of your customers are leaving you a bad review. So that's super bad. Uh, so really, really make sure when you're starting out to get good positive reviews. Um, a, a good thing, a good rule of thumb, uh, a good tactic really uh, is to download the Etsy app on your phone. You can get on Android or Apple uh, and then you can set up push notifications on there. So when someone leaves a review for you, it'll send you a push notification, just a, kind of a pop up and it'll tell you, hey, this person left a review. I have that set up on my phone. So when I get reviews, I can look at it right away. And if there's any bad reviews, I can make sure to respond to that customer immediately upon getting that bad review. Um, obviously, if you get good reviews, you don't need to respond. Um, but if you get a bad review and you reach out immediately to resolve the issue, that helps. That really helps um, you, know, you making a good impact and making a positive impact so that person uh, can maybe go back and change the review. A good rule of thumb is when someone reaches out to you uh, with a bad review, reach out to them immediately, ask how you can fix it, what can I do to make this better, what can I do to correct the issue. Um, if it's obvious, you know, if you send them the wrong item or something like that, you know, you, you tell, them, tell them that you're going to send them the right thing immediately um, or whatever you want to do to correct the issue. And then once it's corrected, reach back out to them and ask them if they don't, if they wouldn't mind updating the review if they're now uh, satisfied. Uh, I've had every single time I've done that, someone has updated the review. Uh, but you really have to make sure you go above and beyond first. Um, you know, you if you send them the wrong item, maybe you send them the new item, and then you uh, comp their shipping, you refund their shipping, or maybe you refund a part part of their order, something like that. Just make sure that you guys are going above and beyond fixing the issue immediately. And then you can ask them to update their review and nine times out of 10, they will do it if they feel that you corrected the issue. Most people don't understand that mistakes happen. Um, you know, it just, it, it happens, you know, we're all human. So most people will be very understanding um, and then will, you know, help you out if you help them out and help uh, resolve the issue. Um, so make sure you guys are doing that. Keep that in mind. Um, another point is make sure you guys are delivering quality service. Uh, make sure you're, if people are sending you messages, like I said on that app, Etsy app, people can send you um, comments and messages or emails, whatever you want to call it. It's all done through the app. You can set up a push notification so you're getting those messages immediately. And make sure you guys respond immediately to people. Um, first of all, it will, it will prompt them to buy from you if they're getting a super quick response. Um, but it also allows you to... Um, get the response immediately and then you know respond to the customer um, in a thorough and concise way um, just you don't respond with one word answers um, always make sure you're welcoming that welcoming if i can say this right welcoming them to your shop and thanking them so i always you know when someone reaches out maybe they ask me a question about sizing something like that i always give them a greeting like hello Thanks so much for checking out my shop. Um, and then here's the answer to your question. Have a great day or something like that. Or you answer their question. Hello, answer their question. Thanks so much for checking out my shop. Have a great day. Something like that. Um, just be appreciative of them finding you checking out your shop and make sure you have a thoughtful response to them. You know, if you give them a one word answer with no greeting, um, they're not really going to feel uh, warm and fuzzy and they're probably going to move on and buy from someone that's more appreciative. Um, and on Etsy, a lot of shop owners are to do take a lot of pride in what they sell and they're super, um, you know, responsive and very appreciative of their customers. So just make sure that you guys are uh, doing the same thing in your responses to customers because uh, it will increase your conversion um, and they're more apt to buy from you or come back and buy from you again. So just keep that in mind. Uh, another big point, and this may seem obvious, but make sure you guys are delivering quality products um, as well as quality shipping. So um, make sure you're selling, you know, you're, you're giving people what you're selling them online. Um, so if you have something a certain quality of item and then you're giving them a different color or a different quality of item, they're not going to be happy. So make sure you're giving them the quality of item that they want and make sure that that is a high quality item. You're not cheaping out on materials or something like that. They're not going to be too happy. Um, and then just make sure you're shipping it. Make sure you include a packing slip, make sure it's wrapped appropriately. 
uh, make sure it doesn't look like um, someone you know donated it at uh, Goodwill or something like that. Just take pride, make sure you're just wrapping it appropriately and uh, including a packing stuff. Those that's really the main thing. You don't have to go overboard with shipping supplies and you can get crazy expensive shipping supplies. Um, just make sure your stuff is quality um, and that you're taking pride and just you know packing packaging your stuff uh, you know appropriately and not just throwing throwing it in a bag and putting scotch tape around it and selling it to them because uh, they're gonna chances are it probably won't make it without falling out of the bag but they're gonna get in and be like what the heck is this uh, pile of junk so uh, just take pride in what you're doing as far as offering quality and shipping quality um, the next thing uh, and this is kind of circling back I kind of got on this tangent before but it's uh, you know if you do make mistakes which you will especially if you ship your own stuff you will absolutely make mistakes uh, just make sure you go above and beyond to fix the mistakes. And part of that is reaching back out to them as soon as possible. That will really help alleviate it. Um, you know, there was, there's been a couple of times where I've sent people the wrong stuff. I mean, it happens. I've mixed up orders. It happens. It's embarrassing, but it, it, it really happens. Um, you know, I sent an order to someone where they needed it for, um, they needed a couple of shirts for a special event. I guarantee that they would have it, which was a mistake. But according to USPS, they should have had it in time, but you can't always count on that. Um, so I felt terrible that they didn't get it, and they were really upset. A lot of times you can see <laughs> kind of how upset they are with how they reach out to you initially, so you know like your response better be good, and you better come back uh, with something good for them, or they're going to leave you a bad review. Um, so just keep that in mind. But I knew that they were upset because I told them that they would have it, and they didn't. Um, so what I did was I refunded their order, allowed them to still keep the, uh, the shirts. And then I offered them two additional free, completely free shirts. Uh, because in the scheme of things, um, it's not really going to make that big of a difference. Um, but bad reviews make a big difference in your shop. Um, and like I said, you get too many bad reviews in a short period of time. It can really hurt your business. Reviews are everything. So going above and beyond, um, really helps. So kind of feel out the customer and see, but at a minimum, fix your mistake. And then maybe I would recommend maybe I offer a little bit of icing on top of that cake, whether it's the wave shipping, maybe give them a discount off a future item, maybe give them a, you know, a free item, um, you know, allow a free return, pay for a shipping label, uh, for them to return it. Um, there's a number of things that you can do to kind of go above and beyond and get back in good graces uh, with your customer. And it may be as simple as asking them if it's not an obvious uh, fix, you know, asking them, you know, how can I make this right for you? You know, what can I do uh, to make this right well, where you will feel satisfied? Because I want to do whatever I can to fix this and make you feel satisfied. Um, so maybe you kind of put the ball in their, their court and a, and a lot of times it's not as, um, it may need, it may not be as, uh, expensive as something that you were going to do. It may be something more simple, you know, maybe it's a few bucks off or something like that. Um, you know, it may be something really simple so you can, it doesn't hurt to ask them if it's not uh, an obvious fix, or maybe you offer a solution and then also pose that question, you know, would that here's what I'd like to do for you um, is, you know, would that make things right? Or is there something else that you would suggest? Um, you know, I'm open to suggestions, uh, something like that. So just keep those things in mind as you're, you're working with your customers and just really don't lose sight of how important your customers are. Um, because especially when you start making more and more sales, um, you start to really not think about customers as customers, they kind of become a number. And that's really what you really have to avoid. I mean, just provide the extra level of service. And don't forget, um, you know, that every person is a person coming to you, and that they are super important to your business. Um, so just make sure you're you're being thoughtful in your responses, offering great products, great customer service, and it really will go a long way. Um, it is not too difficult um, to offer good service, but you have to be um, thoughtful, meaningful, you know, and concise in your responses, um, and just go the extra mile. Don't think about it as losing money. Think about it as going the extra mile and in return, you know, it will come back to you. Um, you know, and it, you know, it will be worth it in the end. So, um, hopefully that helps you guys uh, as far as some customer service, uh, pointers and tips, 
Um, make sure that you guys uh, that like this podcast are leaving a good review. I mean, I guess even if you don't like it, you can leave a review. Uh, hopefully, you don't leave a bad review. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> so, um, But if you find this stuff helpful, I would really appreciate a good review on uh, Apple Podcasts or wherever you're listening to this podcast. Um, outside of that, if you go to EtsyEntrepreneur.com, there's some uh, good resources on there. There's some free resource, resources on there. There's some um, there's a master class on there I just released not too long ago um, with uh, a lot of tactics and uh, sales strategies and advanced strategies you guys can use to help grow your Etsy business. Um, I'm working on some new material to put in there. It's one of those things that um, it is a living, breathing thing. I want to continue to put the best strategies and tactics in there for you um, to help you guys grow your shop uh, and grow yourself, grow your Etsy business rather. So, uh, but until next time, have an awesome rest of your day and I will talk to you guys later.